Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here, weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching this weather school video. Um, as always, the sites get free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen. It's by you coming back and using the sites. That's what keeps us free of charge. Uh, I just wanted to explain a little bit more about ridges. Um, I've been talking about ridges over the last few days and uh, we've got them out in the Atlantic. It's a feature of the weather this winter and there's one on the chart here. Look, it's that feature going through there. So this is the ridge in here. Now, what that is, is the flow at 500 millibars. So imagine we've got air that's just been pumped northwards here, warm air, it then sinks southwards, look, through into um, the, uh, into in this case, to the northeastern parts of the Canaries and then across the northern parts of Africa. Basically, that's our jet stream through there. Now, this is called an Omega High. That shape there is basically the uh, mathematical um, the Greek mathematical um, symbol for uh, Amiga. But it's this ridge in here that I want to explain a little bit about what's going on because ridges at upper levels obviously are tied with high pressure at low levels. Well, not obviously, really, but that's what they are tied with. So a ridge at higher levels is similar-ish to a ridge at low levels in that it's something to do with high pressure. But I just want to explain a little bit more about what we're looking at when we look at a chart like this. You see, we've got the centre of the ridge in there, and just down here, uh, or even across here, let's say, we've got uh, this blue colour, and the blue colour indicates low height. So there's the opposite here. So here we have a centre of high heights, here we've got a centre of low heights. And what's happening here is that air is pumping north, it's building this ridge. In here, air is pumping south, and because it's cold air, that cold air is more dense. So what it does, it lowers the heights, whereas out towards the west in this feature here, in this ridge, we increase heights here we lower the heights of the 500 millibar surface so if we were to draw a line between here let's say and here so between the high center and the low center it would look something like this so let's say that we've got uh, height going up that side of the graph there so that's height in there and there we've got the distance so in there we've got let's say that's our point a that's in there and there just in here is point b so we've got a there and we've got point B there. If you were to look at the 500 millibar surface, you'd actually see it sloping. So it would slope from the high down to the low. And that would give us a difference in height. So for example, here we've perhaps got um, heights, I don't know, because uh, they're not marked on there, but let's say the heights in that zone there are perhaps five, four, six. Uh, decameters, which is 5,460 meters. There, within that zone, they may actually be five, two, Eight, zero. So 5,280 metres. So basically what we've got here is warm and less dense air. So in other words, it occupies um, more space. And here we've got cold, denser air, which is more compressed and occupies less space. So that's why we get these high ridges here. We get the low ridges there. That's what we're referring to when we're referring to um, to the uh, the idea of a ridge and also a high height centre and a low height centre. That's what it would look like across the atmosphere. And that's why we also say that with ridges and with areas of high, high uh, heights, upper levels, that's associated with warmer air through the atmosphere. Not necessarily warm air at the surface, but warmer air the, uh, through the atmosphere. And why we say that low heights are associated with cold atmospheres. So not cold necessarily at the surface, but colder atmospheres above. It's great, isn't it? It's amazing. The weather actually works. So I just wanted to explain that to you. But for now, thanks again for watching. Remember, we kept free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen here. And by you coming back and using the adverts, that's what keeps us all completely free of charge. And don't forget, we've got Weather School as well. You can click on Weather School at the site here and um, go and visit us and uh, see what we do at Weather School. We've got training courses on there for just about everybody. So do go along and have a look. But for now, thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.